Welcome into seven days of holiday beauty. I'm really glad you're here. Here we are on the last day of seven days of holiday beauty. I can't believe how fast this week has gone. I have had so much fun putting together all these looks and truly I would sit and think at the evening what sweater do I want to wear and what palette do I want to use and what lipstick will go with that. I have had so much fun. I hope it's been enjoyable for you too. Take a look at just part of the makeup that we've shared together this fun holiday week. It has been such a treat for me to put together a different look every single day and to share so many of the products in my makeup collection. For those of you who are just joining in, I have done a different look for each day this holiday week and you can check out the playlist down below in the description box if you'd like to catch up on what you may have missed. Here's a little sneak peek of all the looks so far. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 Woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. I'll have to say I'm a little bit sad that this is the last makeup day of this holiday week. I've had such a great time. So I'm excited to put together this final look. As always, all products that I use and mention today will be listed and linked below, and they'll also be over on the blog, so super easy for you to find. And with that, let's hop into it. I don't know, you guys, I think my hair's all sticking up today. This is the City Lips Clear. This is their plumping lip gloss. I use this to get the wrinkles out of my lips. I've got all my serums, moisturizers, and of course my sunscreen on. Today I'm going to use the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effects Blurring Primer. As you can see, I've never even used this. Here's what it looks like. It doesn't say anything other than blurring primer on here. Oh, Color Grip Technology. All right, it looks a little bit silicone-y coming out of the tube or container. I don't know if that's a tube, maybe it's a big tube. It feels, wow, it feels really, really silky, wow. And it doesn't feel drying like some silicone primers can feel sometimes. It feels moisturizing and really, really silky. Let me see what it's done to my pores. It has made my pores look blurred out. It really has done that. Wow. Maybe I found a new winning primer. Wouldn't that be fun? For eye primer, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a really great primer. And I got this sample size, gosh, maybe eight or nine months ago. Great price on the sample size. It's like $15 and goodness knows this will last you a year. I mean, you just use so very, very little. Here's the issue I have with this primer. It's actually a very good eye primer, but it's a little bit thicker than the formulas that I'm used to. And I find that if I get even a little bit more than just a really thin layer on, it builds up on my eyelids and it makes my eyelids look a little bit more crepey than they need to. And you can see that little bit was even way too much. So I'll try to shear it out so that it's not too thick and heavy on my lids. I'm going to dab a little bit off here because that's way, way, way too much. And you can see that that primer has really covered up any discolorations on my lids. It's a thicker color of a primer and a thicker formula. However, if you have veins or discoloration on your lids that you want to cover up, this might be a good choice for you. For brows today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Brow Extensions. I actually used this in a video a few days ago, and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. I think I really liked the way that my brows looked when I used this. The color was good. They filled in really, really quickly. I did bring in my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil to do the detail work because this is kind of a thick crayon. So getting a detail edge on the tail is really <laughs> kind of impossible with this. I want to use it again today because I'm really curious to see if I was just imagining that my brows looked really good or if they really did. The deal on this brow pencil is that there supposedly are fibers in the formula that help your brows fill in really, really quickly. And I think that might be true. This is in the color blonde. One thing I can say is, boy, this is a get your brows done quick product. 
This is my Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I love this thing. It has such a tiny, tiny little tip that you can do detail work really, really easily with it. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I picked this up when I got the larger glam palette from Natasha Denona, threw it in my cart, just wanted to give it a try. I've heard a lot about these mini palettes. This is a beautiful nude colorway. Let's go ahead and swatch these colors and see what they look like. I haven't used this at all. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? Looks like there's two mattes and three shimmers, and the shimmers don't look too sparkly or glittery, which I'm happy about. I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 201 brush and just go into this light camel color right here, and that's gonna be laid down as the transition shade. And I'm gonna bring that down to the outside third of that movable lid. Of course, these, of course, this formula is going on beautifully. The color is very soft and pretty. It's just almost a perfect neutral transition shade. Now I'm going to take the tip of my brush and just dip it into this dark chocolatey brown right here. That's going to go deep inside the crease in the outer third of each eyelid. Just a real soft application to just deepen things up out there. Oh, that's so pretty. These are blending in so beautifully. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend those colors in together. But by gosh, they look so pretty already. I'd hardly any blending's really needed. The size of this palette just feels perfect and the packaging is really nice. These are a little less expensive. I think this was maybe, gosh, in the high $20, but really, really a nice little packaged eyeshadow product. Now I'm going to dip my finger into this taupey brown right here. That's going to go on the movable lid a little past the center part. So I'm going to start on the outside and just tap that in. So I have a little less on my finger towards the middle of my eyelid. Oh, that's so pretty. And then I'm just going to blend that in to the crease. And then I just want to tap that edge a little bit to kind of smooth it in towards the corner of my eye. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and dip it into this champagne shimmer shade right here and that's going to go on the inside corner of my eye. I'm just going to tap that on and blend it into that taupey shimmer shade. This is really really a nice formula and the colors just blend so beautifully together. Now I'm going to take my Sigma The Essentials palette and dip into this color Snowed. I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. This is so pigmented. That's going to go right underneath my brow really, really lightly. Just to highlight that area a little bit. And you can see how pigmented that is. I barely got any on my brush. And now I'm going to take that same color and just place that on the inside corner of each eye, a tiny amount of product, and then I'm just really going to blend it in. And you'll see how much that brightens the inside corner of my eye. Now I'm gonna take my blending brush and just blend the outside edges of that shadow. Before I go into foundation, I'm gonna take my Stila palette and just knock down those purple circles underneath my eyes a little bit. I think that eye look is looking really pretty and it was so easy to put together. For foundation, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. I'm in the color Ecru and I'm really, really liking this for my skin tone. I've been using this foundation, gosh, for a couple of months now. I really like it. I think that it's kind of between this and my L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. I think that they're very, very similar. This is my BK Beauty 101 brush. This foundation works in so easily and beautifully. Now I'm just gonna tap that in with my sponge. One thing I can say is this look is coming together so easily today. I'm enjoying that. For concealer today, I'm gonna to be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. <laughs> so many people love this concealer. I'm not one of them. But I thought I would give it another chance today to see what it is I'm missing. For some reason, it just doesn't work for me like it works for some other people. And I can say that I really haven't found a concealer that I'm absolutely in love with, at least not yet. 
I'm going to try this today just because I'm confused about why so many people love it. Maybe it'll be different today. This, of course, is their hydrating version of the wildly popular Camo Concealer. It has a really, really big doe foot on it. My experience is that I need very, very little product, so just a dab of this should be plenty. For some reason, it just doesn't lay down underneath my eyes as smoothly as some other concealers I've used. Maybe it was the primer I was using, maybe it's my skin, I'm just really not sure. It does have pretty good coverage as you can see. And you know, today it's not looking too bad. I can remember in the past that it just looked really dry and patchy right away, but today it seems to be settling in a little bit nicer. Now I'm going to put a little setting spray on my beauty sponge and tap that underneath my eye. This Sigma sponge is becoming <laughs> near and dear to my heart. I'm really loving it. Okay, that's looking pretty good for me. I'm a little happier with this concealer today than I have been in the past. I'm not sure if it's the primer that I laid down, if it's the way I put it on, I'm not really sure. But right now it's looking okay. Just gonna set that down with my number seven Lift and Luminate Powder. I'm gonna set my face just a little bit with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. You guys have seen me do this, I don't know how many times. Love this powder. Great drugstore price. Today I'm gonna to be using a bronzer from e.l.f. This is in the color Sunkissed. It's really a beautiful sculpting color. You can see it right here. Very, very little warmth in it, which I like. Look at how pretty that looks on the skin. Isn't that just the perfect sculpting color? For a blush today, I'm gonna to be using one of the Milani Baked Blushes. This is in the color Berry Amore. <laughs> I have several of these baked blushes. I love every single one of them. You can see the color right there. Just the most beautiful muted berry. A Little bit of that on my blush brush. Oh, I just love this. Isn't blush just the most wonderful thing? For highlighter, I'm going to be using one of the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Highlights. This is in the color Moon Glow, and of course I want to shake it up. Here's how it looks on the back of my hand. Just a little bit is all you need. Get some on my finger and just tap that in. This is just a really fun product line. It's a little bit like finger painting, I think. Just a real soft, subtle glow. This line from Daniel Sandler, they're really, really easy to work with. And gosh, one of these bottles looks so tiny, but it will last you forever. You literally need a drop of both the blushes and the highlighters. There's, it's just really a fun little product line. For eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. This is in the color gray. I just thought it would be fun to change it up from doing black around the eyes to doing gray today. I'm going to line the upper lid. Then I'm going to use that same color to tight line. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Sensuosity Lash from Sigma. Haven't even tried this, haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Beautiful tube. Let's see what's inside. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was hard to open. All right, so this is a rubber wand. Has a little bit of a curl there. Let's see how this looks on the lashes. I like that curl in the wand. That's a nice way to apply mascara. There's two coats with the Sensuosity Mascara. It went on really easily, very, very little clumping, and I can say it does a great job of lengthening. To finish off the complexion, I'm gonna use my Milani Prep Set and Glow. Yes, this still lives. <laughs> There's still some product left. Honestly, I hit pan on this months ago. It just keeps going and going and going. Just a little light dusting of this over the complexion. It just gives the most beautiful soft glow. Set that down with my Morphe setting spray. For lips today, I'm gonna to be using a combination of the NYX Lip Liner. This is in Whipped Caviar. And then this is a color from Milani that one of you suggested to me. And I actually got it a while ago and I've been saving it for a particular look. This is in the color Matte Tender. And here are the two right here. This is the Whipped Caviar and the Matte Tender. One of you had suggested the Matte Tender and said it's your favorite lipstick that's just perfect for women our age, so of course I had to buy it. Today will be the first time that I'm wearing it with a full look. Oh gosh, that formula is so creamy. Mmm. 
There's the Whipped Caviar Lip Liner and the Matte Tender Lipstick. Here we have the finished look. Oh my gosh, so many of the products that I use today I just love. You know some days your makeup goes on just really, really easily and everything just seems to flow together? That was one of the days today. I think this Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette is a real winner. Beautiful colors, goes on so, so easily. They blend in seamlessly. Just a really nice little palette. Plus, this size is fabulous, perfect for travel. I really like the look that I put together with it today. And also, there's several colors in here I think would be really great for a one and done, which I'm a big fan of. Really enjoyed working with this palette today. The brow extensions from Maybelline. I think I'm kind of starting to like this a lot. I have been using the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil for a long time. Love it. This is kind of edging up to be as popular with me as that brow pencil. Really, really quick application. I do think that it does fill my brows in a little bit. This color is great for me. So this is the brow extensions from Maybelline in the color blonde. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Primer. If you have discoloration on your lids, this might be a good choice for you. I think this little guy is only like $15. And honestly, I think it could last almost a year. You need to use so very, very little and there's so much product in this tube. I shy away from it because for my eyelids, it seems a little bit heavy, but who knows, it may work perfectly for you. The e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, I'm liking it better today than I ever have before and I'm not sure why. It might be because I used the brush to blend it in. I do feel like the formula is a little bit dry for my under eyes. I prefer something a little bit more hydrating, which is curious because this is the hydrating version of the Camel Concealer. I do think I own concealers that are more hydrating and feel just a little better under my eyes, but this is looking better today than it has in the past. So I'll have to give it a couple of stars for that. And this matte tender lipstick, I'm really, really liking that color. And the formula feels so good. You know how sometimes a matte can be dry and just feel stiff on your lips? This one does not. It's so creamy and so delicious feeling. So really liking the matte tender from Milani. Gosh, I've had so much fun this week putting together a new makeup look every single day for the seven days of holiday beauty. I'm so glad that you could stop in. If you found this fun, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the Over 50 Woman, stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. You guys have literally made my holiday season by taking a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I so appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day. Wear your sunscreen and all. See you in the next video. Bye now.